Hello all, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be looking at how we can dump the LSAS process memory on Windows to perform credentials harvesting with Windows Defender Bypass. As shown in MITRE ATT&CK, dumping the LSAS process memory is a technique for credentials harvesting. It is a very standard attack path to dump the Windows computer LSAS process memory after obtaining administrator access in order to obtain more credentials for further attacks. However, this is not easy to do so as Windows Defender and many other AV and EDR solutions have implemented detection to prevent this attack. If we were to try to dump the LSAS process memory for example with Task Manager, we can see that this is not possible as Windows Defender will trigger and prevent it. Even if we were to use a legitimate system tool such as ProcDump from Sys Internals, it will be detected and prevented as well. Let's try to bypass Windows Defender and dump the LSAS process memory with a publicly available tool that I have found on GitHub. This is the native dump project on GitHub and let's give it a try. The GitHub page documents how this tool works and the link to the GitHub project will be provided in the video's description if you are interested in further reading. Let's download the Visual Studio project and compile it locally on our Windows machine. Awesome, the compilation has no errors and it produced the EXE binary successfully without triggering Windows Defender. Let's try to execute it. As shown in the screen, Windows Defender is able to detect native dump and prevent the LSAS process memory dumping. Now let's see how we can bypass it. If we were to hop over to the GitHub project, we can see that this project comes in different implementations as shown over here. Let's try out the Golang version of it. We will be doing a cross compilation of the native dump in Golang on our Kali machine as realistically, you are not going to have Golang installed on a victim's Windows computer. Let's copy the source code of the native dump.go file. Let's hop over to our Kali machine. Do note that you need to have Golang installed. We need to initialize the Go project with Go mod init and following which get the dependencies ready with Go mod tidy. Now, we can perform cross compilation on our Kali machine to produce the native dumb exe binary for Windows. Awesome, this looks good. Now let's transfer the exe file over to our Windows machine and give it a try. Now let's execute the Golang version of native dump here. Awesome, it worked. The memory dump file has been produced. We have successfully bypassed Windows Defender and dumped the LSAS process memory. 
This is pretty cool, a publicly available project that is working. I hope you all have found this video to be useful. If you are interested in learning about hacking Windows Active Directory and have a feel of how it looks like, there is a playlist available on my YouTube channel over here. It has 4 episodes which showcases the common scenarios you might encounter and what kind of tools you can use to test a Windows Domain Active Directory environment. Alright all, this is it to today's video. Here is a shout out to the people who have supported the channel via donations. Do let me know if you want me to shout out your Twitter or X handle or your web page or whatever. I will be happy to do so. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye.